Welcome to a ViewSonic how-to. My name is Ray and today I'll be showing you how to get macOS working with one of our touch monitors. Specifically, we're looking at the TD1655 and we'll show you exactly how you can get full touch functionality on this device in macOS, which previously was not possible. So the first thing we need to do real quick is just connect our monitor to our Mac using a USB Type-C. Makes it super easy because it's just one cable and the whole thing is going to configure itself, it's going to power on it's going to get the second display going just to, so that we can kind of show that that display is on and working. We have a window up here, but you can see absolutely no touch. So it doesn't matter how much I touch that screen. This is a touch display. It's not going to work. First thing we need to do is actually install some drivers and we're going to search for ViewSonic VTouch. All you need to search and actually one of the first links you should get is right here, VTouch driver for Mac users. Very important. We wanna open that up, go ahead and download VTouch software for Mac OS, allow the download, and this will actually work in all versions of Mac OS, basically from High Sierra all the way through Monterey. So if you have a Mac anytime in the last five years or one that's basically got a USB-C on it, chances are our driver's gonna work just fine for you. Once that's finished downloading, you can go ahead and open it up we're gonna use version 3.4, but you can use touch version 4.0. They have the same functionality. It just depends on which version of macOS you're running. If you're running Monterey, you can use 4.0. If you're using anything older than Monterey, you can use 3.4 and it works just as well. Next up, we're gonna open up the installation packet and start to install. This will guide you through the process. So hit continue. The default install location is usually okay. It may prompt you for your password. If you need your password, go ahead and put it in. Verify that this installation can go through and it will do everything on its own. You will start to get uh, this warning about accessibility features. Because we are enabling accessibility features in order to get the touch working, you do want to make sure that you go into your security preferences and you allow the UPDD system extension installer to run. So I'm gonna show you that right now. So we're gonna open up our security settings and right here, you're gonna see we have a warning about it's blocked UPDD system extension. We wanna go ahead and unlock that, unlock our settings, go ahead and enter your password to unlock the changes. And then here there's a little allow button. We wanna go ahead and allow that extension to run. So now it's done that. We have a full explanation for you as to why you need to do that. But once you've granted that permission, and we're gonna do it one more time, we're gonna allow the UPDD commander and the UPDD to run. And just like that, we have enabled everything we need to for touch. And it says it's ready to run, so we're gonna say start using. And now that we have all the UPDD different options selected in security and privacy, everything should work as intended. So we can go ahead and close out of our system preferences. You can see installation is completed. We can go ahead and close. And since we're done, we can go ahead and move that installer to the trash. So now nothing else you really need to clean up. You can go ahead and delete the driver folder if you no longer want that. But now that we have the UPDD enabled in the system, we can actually start to use touch on our, on our um, screen. So you can see here before there was no touch. Now, as I scroll very easily, we have touch on our touch screen. And it's very simple, very easy, supports some multi-touch gestures, some two finger gestures. So hopefully this has been just an easy, simple guide for you guys to get touch working from one of our ViewSonic monitors onto your Mac OS. Please watch this space for more exciting videos and how-tos from ViewSonic.